This presentation provides a high-level review of key buffer systems. It uses the traditional model and defers the Stewart approach for another time. Buffers are weak acid-base conjugate pairs. On the left side of this equation, we see a weak acid attached to its hydrogen. On the right side sits the acid's conjugate base and the liberated hydrogen ion. Assume that in a solution there's a 50-50 mix of acid and conjugate base floating around. If the pH of the solution falls, there will be an excess of hydrogen ions. The base accepts these hydrogen ions and pulls them out of solution. By removing hydrogen ions, the base buffers the solution and minimizes pH change. As the solution's pH rises, the acid buffers by donating protons. Buffers do 80% of their work within one pH unit of their pKa. Beyond this, they have limited effectiveness. Most anesthesia texts assign relative values to key buffers. Of the extracellular buffers, know that bicarbonate does most of the buffering. Hemoglobin is the second most important buffer and requires a functioning bicarbonate system to work. Phosphate does most of its work in the kidney and proteins play a minor role extracellularly. Within the cell, proteins and phosphate do the work while bicarbonate is not worth mentioning. Hemings and Hopkins give the approximations listed on this slide. Do note that other texts give slightly different numbers. Bicarbonate, the most important extracellular buffer, has a pKa of 6.1. Remember that buffers are most effective within one pH unit of their pKa. Bicarbonate works because it uses an open system. In the lungs, bicarbonate rapidly converts into carbon dioxide. Ventilation eliminates the carbon dioxide. Because it uses an open system, bicarbonate requires functioning lungs to be effective. Bicarbonate should not be used to treat respiratory acidosis or on patients with inadequate ventilation. This equation shows the link between bicarbonate and carbon dioxide. Follow the equation from the right to the left. On the right, bicarbonate accepts the hydrogen ion and becomes carbonic acid. Carbonic acid is unstable and quickly becomes carbon dioxide and water. For this reason, we frequently simplify the equation. When you give bicarbonate, carbon dioxide levels acutely rise. Metabolic acidosis consumes bicarbonate. Finally, with chronic carbon dioxide retention, your patient metabolically adapts by increasing their bicarbonate stores. Hemoglobin is the second most important extracellular buffer. With a pKa of 6.8, it buffers both metabolic acids and carbon dioxide. Note that while bicarbonate is only good for metabolic acidosis, hemoglobin is good for both metabolic and respiratory acidosis. Bicarbonate transports about 80% of our carbon dioxide load. In this picture, we see a cell producing carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide diffuses into the bloodstream and meets a red blood cell. Carbonic anhydrase converts carbon dioxide to bicarbonate plus one free proton. Note histidine in the upper portion of the cell. Histidine captures the proton and buffers it out of solution. As bicarbonate leaves the cell, chloride enters to maintain electroneutrality. In the lungs, this process runs in reverse and the patient exhales carbon dioxide. Hemoglobin acted as a buffer. Using carbonic anhydrase, hemoglobin works in tandem with the bicarbonate system. A small player within the extracellular compartment. Phosphate is very important intracellularly and within the kidneys. This is discussed in other presentations. Proteins are very important within cells. They have a broad range of pKa values. Buffering takes time as cells must alter protein concentrations to deal with change. If you remember nothing else, know that buffering happens fast and is the body's first defense against acidosis. Bicarbonate requires an open system and only buffers metabolic acidosis. Hemoglobin is the second most important extracellular buffer. 
it buffers both metabolic and respiratory acidosis. Phosphate is very important in the kidneys. Finally, proteins and phosphate play large roles within cells.